Um. Welcome to college. Hi, bitches. My name is Lord Farquaad today. <coughs> Ignore the band-aid on my lip. I don't want to talk about it. Before the video starts, I just want to say that, yes, this is my own merch. It's a cute-ass skull with a sunflower growing in it. Typical, yes, I know. And it's on sale until Halloween, so get it while it lasts. Now, back to the actual video. I've made, like, two skincare videos in the past, and I find that each time I make it, it upgrades again. I think two years ago, I had about maybe half of this shelf. A year ago, that doubled, and then now it's tripled. And it's because I now go to Sephora, which is dangerous. Now, you guys may think that I have clear skin, and that is true to an extent. My face is pretty clear now, but I worked for this. I paid good money for this, okay? This tiny ass bottle is $18 before coupons and shipping. But yeah, my family doesn't have like the clear Asian skin gene. I know a lot of Asians and just some people in general do. They can get away with washing their face with olive oil for all I care and they still magically have clearer skin than me. For those people, fuck you. Back off. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Some people require a little more care. So when I first moved into NYU, I never lived in a big city that has a lot of pollution so my skin went <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done something like this in like two months, so I'm just gonna say it right now. Why do you watch me? Basically, I got cystic acne and I had not had that for a year. If you go back to my older videos, I have a lot of it and it made me really insecure. And the fact that I was around all these new people just did not help. So I did do a subscription with Curology to see if it would work because I was like, none of my current stuff is working and this is like a freak breakout that I've never dealt with before. So this video is sponsored by Curology. Thank you for paying for like 1% of my college debt. And I know that a lot of people have gotten these ads lately on Snapchat and Instagram, and trust me, I got the same ads. That's the reason I bought it in the first place. I did the free trial. I did that one month trial where they give you a sample size and all you have to do is pay for shipping, and it worked great. I reached out to them, that's right. YouTuber reached out to his sponsor and I'm really happy with the results So I just want to get into my skincare routine now and talk about how Curology also is added to that routine Just to be clear, I've been using this stuff for two months So I know what works and what doesn't I want to talk about my daytime and nighttime routine because both matter greatly By the way, every product will be linked in the description. So I do first start off with Curology. This is their cleanser, and keep in mind that this cleanser and the moisturizer are universal. Every member gets the same moisturizer and cleanser, it's just this white bottle that is like curated for you. By the way, they are cruelty free, I did email them just to confirm. And this says, use twice daily, morning and night, gently massage onto damp face and rinse off. I think it's the most gentle cleanser I've had because I'm typically used to like exfoliants. I remember way back in 8th grade, I would take that Alba Botanica scrub that just made my skin feel like <laughs> and I thought that was great turns out that's terrible for you because if you get rid of all the natural oils on your face you start making more oil and that's why you got oily skin and not me anymore and yes I have normal skin now because it's winter time so keep that in mind usually I have combination to oily but for now I'm living the life of just not being an oil spill off the Gulf of Mexico. So yeah, the cleanser works great. It doesn't dry out your face and I feel moisturized still after using it. Sometimes I'll combine it with Angels on Bare Skin from Lush just because I think that I need more exfoliation, especially here. You want to get rid of all the pollution on your face and dirt after every day. And also, shh. But keep in mind, you shouldn't over exfoliate because that just makes it worse for you and that gives you inflammation. I can personally handle it because I find that my face doesn't get red usually. If you want a more gentle cleanse, a combination that I've been really liking lately is the Curology Cleanser with this silicone face scrub. I got it at TJ Maxx for like $5 for two. I really like the fact that these are reusable and you can clean them and not a lot of bacteria gets on them. Just keep in mind, every so often, wash them with alcohol and dry it well. Because bacteria grows on every single thing in this world. So if you guys don't know what Curology is or you haven't decided to sign up for it before, they're basically a personalized skincare subscription and you basically give them your face quiz like you talk about what type of acne you get, what products you use currently, what you eat, what your allergies are. The quiz gets very detailed and once that's done, they send it off to their dermatology providers and they'll look at the pictures you send because you have to send like pictures of the left side of your face, the right side of your face, and your body. Basically, they'll see your skin up close. Once that's done, they're gonna tell you what your subscription is. I'll get to this white bottle later because it has my name on it and special ingredients just for my skin. And you can message your dermatology provider and give updates like, hey, it's doing this, but it's not doing this. Can I change my subscription? And it's it's very customizable and there's a link in the description below because right now they're giving people like a free trial that only costs 
They're doing a free one month trial for you guys and all you have to do is pay for shipping and handling. That is initially what I use. I just wanted to see like maybe it could work in a month and it did treat my acne pretty well. It doesn't cure acne, okay? That's don't get it twisted. For me personally, I'm not gonna say this is working for everyone. My acne went away within two months. I currently only have some scars right here from the acne that I popped because I have no self-control. So yeah, thank you Curology for sponsoring me and let's get to the rest of the skincare routine. After cleansing, I use a toner and currently I'm switching between the Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray and this For Men Only toner that I got sent in but Honestly, I don't like the fact that it says for men because I don't like the small sexism inside of it. I don't know. I just don't like the fact that it says for men only in there. But a toner is a toner. You don't have to get like an extreme $64 one if you don't have the money. There's plenty that work. I still use the Thayer's one. I'm just currently going through all the extras that I have. The Red Cab one from literally every drugstore works perfectly fine. It's in the description below. I'll only link that one because I honestly don't think you need these two. I will say this pump is very nice, so I might just reuse it because... It's a fine ass mist. And by the way, I use reusable cotton pads just to dab the toner on. Please do not drag your face. If you drag, you're gonna create wrinkles early on. And after you cleanse, just take a face towel and gently dab. Do not rub your face. It leads to inflammation, which also can lead to dark spots. So yeah, pat gently. Yes, I like being sustainable, so they're reusable. They can wash up to a thousand times. Get them on Amazon, they're really cheap. And I do one side for the morning and the other side for night and then I wash it because if you reuse this shit, that is disgusting to me. And yes, I do take my fan in between products to make it dry faster before the next one. Next up, I'll take a hyaluronic acid serum. I'm currently using this one up, but I would recommend another one on Amazon better because it's cheaper, I think. And that's a vitamin C serum too. This one is just hyaluronic acid. Now the word acid sounds scary, but hyaluronic acid is just a humectant. And if you don't know what that means, it sucks moisture in. If you ever look at a sheet mask, most of the time they'll have something called sodium hyaluronate. And basically the moment you take off the sheet mask where you use this, the next product you put on, which will be moisturizer typically, will help keep your skin more hydrated than normal just because it locks it in and keeps it like stuck. However, because it draws moisture in, if you don't put anything else over it, it'll start sucking moisture from the air and from your skin out. And that is the reason why they say don't leave a face mask on for more than a set amount of time because when it starts to dry, your skin is losing moisture because the sheet mask is taking it from your skin. So you don't want to let that dry too much. The moment you put on the serum, immediately put on your other stuff. I will quickly put on this... <laughs> I'm not recommending this because it's $90. So the reason why I bought this was because I had a lot of scars. This is Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Serum. I've used this for a month and I've only gone through this much, so I will say it'll probably last at least six or seven, but for $90, if you don't pay my college debt, if you don't walk me to school, if you don't give me a six pack, I'm not gonna recommend it. So I'm not recommending that to you guys. I'm not gonna put a description. You completely do not need it. I was just being impulsive. But I do put that on after because it'll help absorb better now that I have hyaluronic acid on. After that, I will use the Curology Moisturizer. It's a very simple moisturizer. I don't find it too oily because I don't think there is any oil in it. Nope, no oil. I like this moisturizer just because it seems like a universal one. It's not extremely oily. It doesn't dry me out either. After that, I will put on this rosehip seed oil. This is 100% pure seed oil that's cold pressed and organic. And I got it from TJ Maxx, they had a sale. But some of you guys might be wondering, Frederick, why do you put on an oil if you have oily skin? Well, Karen, if you put on oil before your skin produces extra, it won't even bother producing extra because it'll think it's already oily. And since this is meant for skin and it seeps in and doesn't leave like a film over your skin, it feels so good. And let me just say this, the viscosity level- pff, I can't believe I just said that. The thickness of this oil is like water. I originally used castor oil, which I found was way too thick for me. This I like much better, so I will link that in the description. And because I'm extra and I'm Asian, I of course did some research on a jade roller. <laughs> Do you need this? No. Never. I don't even think this is 100% jade, but I don't care because this still does its job. The purpose of this is to promote circulation within your skin and help reduce puffiness around your eyes and just like get the blow flowing to your skin and get it awake. I put this in the fridge just because it feels so much better on the skin and just gently glide it all over your face. You can look up a video on how to do it professionally because if you drag, 
wrinkles. Wrinkles, you're gonna look like an old lady. I use the smaller one around the sides and my eyes, and I just find it relaxing. And sometimes that's a part of skincare. You just wanna feel good doing it. So I won't say you need this, but if you have some money and you wanna splurge a little, not too expensive. It also comes with a gua sha, and let me tell you, I'm too lazy to do this, okay? It's too much work. But keep in mind, do wash it with soap and water after every use, and you wanna make sure you have like some oil or moisturizer on to have a slide, because you don't want it to grip and drag. And my face does get red for like one minute because that's the blood flowing to the skin but after it just cools down and then my face looks like I've already been awake for three hours. Finally after that I'll put on this facial sunscreen. This is another form of moisturizer but it's also SPF 50. It's UVA, UVB, broad spectrum. So think of UVB as burn. UVA, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, it's more for aging and getting cancer and stuff. And this has avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. It doesn't have oxybenzone, which if you don't know, could be bad for the coral reefs. But either way, I would say that to be safe, don't do this if you're gonna go into the ocean. Use a physical sunscreen, this is a chemical sunscreen. But it works fine for me. Um, it does feel greasy when you first initially apply it on, but if you tap in long enough, it'll just mat down. That is my daytime routine. <laughs> that takes about 20 minutes. Let's go to the nighttime one where it takes 30 minutes more. So if you can't tell, my shelf is set up so up here is daytime and down there is nighttime. First, I will take my cleansing balm. Most of the Korean stuff I got from Yes Style, but this is my cleansing balm for when I put on makeup. It's the only one I found that doesn't leave an oil film after washing. I'm very picky about cleansing oils because I always feel like they're too oily for me. This works great. It doesn't feel like coconut oil even though it looks like it. And yes, the whole thing might be white, but I've dug into that for a while. I find that just a little dime size amount works enough to get rid of all your makeup. So I first rub it between my hands to get it warmed up. Then I rub it on my face gently. You also know ring finger is the weakest and most delicate and your eyes are most delicate, so you wanna do this. Also, while you're washing your face, try to go in upward motions because gravity's already doing this to your skin. After that, I wash it off with warm water and then I just pat my skin dry. However, you have to double cleanse. That's an important thing. I learned it from a 10 step Korean skincare routine, but basically that isn't enough to get rid of all your makeup. And if you want proof, take a cotton pad, put some toner on it, and then do this you'll see it. Now for nighttime when the sun isn't out, that is when I want to make sure all of the dirt from the day is gone. All my makeup is gone. I want to put my active ingredients on so we can treat my skin while I sleep. So I use a glycolic acid toner. Warning, if you have sensitive skin, caution with this. Start off once a week, then two times a week, three times a week, and if you can do it like me, you can do it every night because it's not really sensitive skin friendly I'd say but it's a chemical exfoliant. I typically stray away from physical exfoliants, especially like ones with walnut shells. The last one I have is just ground almonds and that's very soft and gentle. But when I really wanna get in there, I use chemical because I feel like that gets into every pore, literally. And a little pro tip, all the stuff I get from Mario Badesco is found at Urban because what I do is I'll do giveaways and just go on the app until I get a $5 coupon. Come in there with my app. Yes, I would like my $5 coupon. Yes, I would like the receipt just in case I don't get enough product. And that's how I save money there because guess what? That was $18. But I've been using it for six months and I've gotten through that much. You really don't need a lot. You just take it on your cotton pad and gently swipe away, especially around your neck, because I feel like that's where makeup piles up, around your ears, around your hairline. Remember guys, excess product on your hairline produces acne right there. A lot of people found that helpful and I was like, thank God, because I had that same problem back then. If you find that you've toned with that and your skin still feels very like, tingly, follow up with a gentle toner like the Thayer's Red Cap one. I stopped the video and I instantly remembered. I still use this thing that basically has a bunch of needles in them and when you rub it on your face, it helps produce more collagen for your skin because your skin is like, oh, I'm damaged because there's a bunch of holes in my face. Works great, I use it after toner. Next, I'll take this thing from YesStyle again. It's called a BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. It's basically my serum and I'm just trying to get rid of it. I don't think it does much, so if anything, I recommend like a normal nighttime serum. But I don't really recommend you needing a serum because you already have a lot of active ingredients if you're like me. And eventually, those active ingredients will <laughs> with each other. I'm pretty sure vitamin C and glycolic acid are not friendly, so don't put that on your face at night. So after that serum thing, I take this retinol cream. If you don't know what retinol is, basically it's vitamin A. And a lot of people will say that it's dangerous for you and that you shouldn't put it on in the morning, which is true. If you put retinol on, you're basically doing nothing because retinol in the daytime cancels each other out. But at nighttime, ooh, ooh, it does. Mm. That retinol cream 
has been with me through thick and thin. That was in my old skincare routine. I'm still not done with it. You need like a pea-sized amount and you rub it all over your face, even your eyes, because it helps with de-aging and anti-wrinkling. And it helps get rid of acne, helps get rid of those milia things, like the tiny acne around your eyes. It just smooths out your face and it works like butter. So after that, I'll take my final Curology product. This should only be done at night because it's your active ingredients and you want to sleep and help this work. Mine personally has niacinamide 4%, clinamycin 1%, azelaic acid 4%. And on the website, it does tell you what they do, but it's a very short description. So I wanted to make sure and do some more research for myself. So I went to my sister, the pharmacist, who said, this is all for acne. And I was like, Perfect. But yeah, always research the chemicals you put on your body, please. And I do like one and a half pumps. And if you don't want to buy both retinol and this, I would just say skip the retinol because this combo is pretty good for like the price range. And I think me doubling up is just doing nothing, but I love doing it. So I don't think you need both. So once that's done, I just put on my moisturizer. I'm currently getting rid of this thing from YesStyle. I don't really know. It's just a normal moisturizer to me. But what I do really like is this Lush facial oil, which I constantly keep talking about. You guys know, this was in the last skincare routine. This shit does wonders and it lasts forever. So I recommend that. And then I'll take my facial roller again and put that all over my face because I like doing it. And if I have any acne, I'll do my drying lotion and I just take a little reusable cotton swab, which yes, that's a thing. But yeah, it's a spa treatment and it's your last step because you go to sleep with it and try not to rub your face on your pillow because it'll just wipe it off. But that is my entire skincare routine. Very complicated, but it does help me get to this stage now. Like I think my skin, it's pretty rocking lately, but thank you for going through this really long skincare routine. I'm so tired now. If you want to learn more, I recommend Mixed Beauty. They're an amazing YouTube channel. Just watch one Jackie Ina skincare routine and you'll be fine. Is it a lot for me to bring all this stuff to college? I, yeah. Do I care? No. Just because I have these products doesn't mean I want you to buy them. Buy stuff that have these ingredients in them. What I mean is try to get stuff that has SPF in it. Try to get stuff that has hyaluronic acid in it. I'm just telling you what works for me and what might work for you. So yeah, if you enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below about what other college videos you want, and subscribe for more Bull Average videos every Saturday or Sunday. Love you guys, and everything is less than three.